Hey guys, Lee Time has sent us their new mini battery. Let's open it up. All right, so we've got the nice little packet with the manuals and everything. Uh, it's a mini with a 100 amp BMS, 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. You can connect four in series and four in parallel. We have M8 terminal bolts, four of them and caps. Uh, so far the packaging looks exactly like the Redodo. And there's the battery. So yeah, it looks uh, quite a bit smaller than your average 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Here is the time USB to compare against again. So this is your kind of standard 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery size. And as you can see, the mini 12 volt 100 amp hour battery from lead time is quite a bit smaller. Again, uh, ever so slightly taller, uh, but the width definitely shorter here. The uh, thickness definitely smaller and here is the Rododo 12 volt 100 amp hour mini to compare against and uh, they appear to be exactly the same dimensions they look to be exactly the same well almost exactly the same construction there's a the cases look the same now there's a difference on the strap that's thicker and that's not as thick. The case looks uh, very much the same. Mm, there's three ribs here on this one, same as here. Seems to be a serial number of some sort in the exact same kind of format on the Redodo as well. All right, so last time I reviewed this battery, somebody in the comments suggested that I weigh them, and that's a really good suggestion. So I'm gonna weigh these two batteries, see if there's any anything in common there. And I also want to weigh this battery and see what the difference is. Okay, we got a scale here, and we'll weigh these batteries. We got 8.9 kilograms on the lead time. We've got 8.9 kilograms on the Redodo, so exactly the same weight. And look at that, we've got we got 10.7 kilograms on the standard size. Not only are these physically smaller, they weigh less too. You could really almost get two of these in where one of these would fit. I mean, it's a little bit of a different shape you'd have to do, but this thing definitely takes up a lot more room. And if you've seen the inside of these batteries, these have a lot of space, like a lot of open area in, in there, a lot of wasted space. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to charge this battery up and then we're going to do a capacity test. All right, the battery has charged. Let's top it off once more. I want to see what voltage it charges up to. Okay, we got 14.2, so that is the minimum level you would want this to charge up to. Okay. Looked like it got a little bit over 14.2. Okay. So uh, it got a little over 14.2, which is the minimum level specified in the manual that it should charge up to. That'll be acceptable. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a capacity test. All right, here we go. I've got the shunt hooked up. I've got the Alpha 1500 watt inverter. As I said that I was going to start using this in my capacity test as the load so we can beat up on this thing to see if it lasts. And recording the time lapse over here. So let's start up the inverter. And we are pulling 55.5 amps. Yeah, that's a little bit of an interesting result right there. Because I think usually with my Leesky inverter, I'm pulling more amperage at the same setting on the heater. The medium, uh, no, the low setting on the heater. Okay, well, anyways, we're going to let this test run and I'll come back when it completes. Alright guys, so we actually have exceeded uh, 100 amp hours, we're at 101.37 and actually at 1,281 watt hours. So we have pulled uh, full capacity from this battery, I'm going to let it keep going to see how far it'll go. Oh, the inverter is starting to complain over here. So we'll go ahead and shut it down. So it looks like we got to 102.52 amp hours. There was probably a little bit more in there but I think this inverter starts complaining a little bit earlier than my other inverter. So we'll keep an eye on that. But yeah, absolutely, it's pulled full capacity, so this battery lives up to its label. What's up, guys? All right, guys, so we got this battery opened, and here we go. As we can see, it has uh, pouch cells. You can see the top of the pouch there. And the construction looks exactly like the Rododo Mini battery. I don't know if you can see this, but there is an identification in here. It says HAL5, H-A-L-F-I-V-E. Uh, same very strong lid uh, with the reinforcement ribs in here. and then the same padding on it. Let's see if we can get the cells out. There we go. And the exact same case as the Rododo with the same little braces in there. I believe those are there for uh, to keep the pouch cells from shifting if you happen to lay it on its side. Yep, so it looks uh, very much the same on the BMS as well, where the, pos uh, the positive wire is connected to the BMS as well, and then the negative is connected here. And so if we take these bolts out, the BMS should lift off. The only difference that I see at this moment is this plate, I think, was a different color in the Rododo. This one's black. I think the other one was gray. The little color code on the cells looks different, but it appears as though we still have 16 pouch cells. They're arranged in four cells of 24 amp hours each in parallel here here and here and then these are series together 
and also has this uh, aluminum plates on the end and the long bolts that go all the way through to add a little bit of a compression fixture. And just like the Rodoto, the BMS lifts right off. Uh, it looks exactly the same as far as I can remember on the bottom. There is a high temp sensor affixed to the side of the cells, just like the Rodoto. And this should be where the cells are indeed welded to these bus bars. And you can see the balance leads are soldered to these bus bars. And the same on the other side. There's a marking of a B plus and a B minus on this plate here. So yeah, basically the yeah, it's exactly the same. With the exception of some colors and the case color, but it's the same uh, same battery appears to be. I mean it may be possible the cells are different. They, but they're, they're, they're a different color. I like the form factor of, the, of these mini batteries. They're, it's definitely a lot smaller than the form factor that we're accustomed to. So that's going to be the end of the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.